reckon, mate? Fucking amazing. Flip! And more change. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. Good night. And good night. Depending <laughs> on what part of the world you're at. We're going for a nice little drive. And uh, what do you call it? We're going to talk about this uh, beautiful car. Can't tell much by interior because we're not facing the dashboard. But uh, this is uh, Ahmed's car. And how did you get this uh, car, Ahmed? So it was, I'm going to give you a little background on how I ended up with a BMW M3. I did a few shopping around, going for test drives, and I want to talk about the two specific cars before we jump back to the M3. I really wanted a Shelby GT350, original. I freaking love the sound of that damn car. The car with no control. <laughs> no, no, the new one. The, the YouTube new. sensation. <laughs> <laughs> the problem was, every dealer I went to, you couldn't test drive it. There was a fifteen to twenty thousand dollar yeah, because you crash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, but dude, Mustang, doesn't you, Mustang crew is gonna hate, hate us for this. Man. No, but I really did want a Shelby G50. Those damn markups were ridiculous. The test drives you can't even drive it. The second car that I really wanted to test drive and possibly purchase was the Corvette. Remember, we went yeah. to the auto show. I can't see over that thing. Dude. That's... Let me tell you guys, Corvette, you're right, 100%. You cannot see over the damn dashboard. The fenders are just uh, the bonnet. The bonnet. The bonnet. You can't see over the bonnet. <laughs> it's it's a little rough. It's it's like a, it has a racing stance. You're sitting low and yet the hood is just so long. Man. It's... He's right. It, it felt like where you're sitting and where the hood ends, it's like a mile long. And then you have these two bulging fenders. But that was the experience just sitting in the car. To get a damn test drive with a Corvette was like pulling fucking teeth. Sorry for cursing. Yeah. We'll bleep that out. No, it's bleep. <laughs> bleep. It, it felt like you're going to shop it for a damn Ferrari. Yeah. And that's why Chevy doesn't, and Ford have failed in, in selling high performance cars. You gotta give the consumer a test drive. These guys, it felt like I was walking in a dealership, and Husko, when I tell you, I had to beg the guy, dude, I'm just going around the corner. I just wanna see how it felt like. Yeah, yeah. At that point, I was completely turned off. It's like buying shoes without trying them first. That was exactly the same it's, line I used. Uh, it's, it didn't you make don't sense. Do that. You don't do that. No. All right, so? So I ended up test driving an M4. I liked it, the only part I disliked, it was a little bit low, and the M3 has four doors, it's basically almost the same car, it is wider than the M4, and the M3 just felt a little bit more natural, personally, right. that's that's why, and I think you like the M4. M4 was nice, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, you guys, you guys probably saw a million test drives, they're almost right, identical. Right, right. <laughs> uh, nothing new here to see anyway. Exactly. Thousands of these videos, but you know, this is just our experience uh, that you're seeing through our channel. Prepare to turn right. Back, we switch drivers.
drivers? That's right. Right now it's Vin Diesel on the seat. <laughs> I'll play that shit. Yeah. Alright, how's it feel? Be your honest opinion. You I didn't get you, I didn't get a chance to give it to you for a while. I think you drove it once around the block. Yep. So now you actually we found a mountain road, you'll see a couple of shots of it. Give your honest opinion. Hey. Don't hold back, even though it's my car. No, no, it's, it's, listen. You won't insult me. Well, <laughs> the turns are, it's, it's like your, your, your train stuck on rails. And you're just following that path. No matter how big the turn is, it hugs it. it, it, it it's so controllable. It, it, it's amazing, amazing. Um, once you mess with the uh, traction control a little bit, whatever, you can loosen it back a little bit, drift out. But let's talk about that. The, M, the, the car has an MDM mode, which right. is basically you traction off, but not fully off. So you still have, right. uh, you get to play around with a little bit. And, and if it senses that you're actually about to lose it, Easy. Watch those 5,500 RPMs. I kept it at four. <laughs> kept right. it at four. And that's four. This thing, it's red line is what? 7,000. 7,000. But, you know, you get the majority power around five anyways. So we did do a power, not a power side. What a yeah, it. you see that in we, the beginning of the video. Yeah, we... we it's, it's a nice little uh, power slide and stuff. It's, it's not bad. We're just messing around. Considering the RPM that we're allowed to use, not bad. Correct, we were limited. Yeah, and it's like it's like playing with a girl that, that that's you know, it's really not yours. You can't touch her, but you can just you know, <laughs> take, you just, you you can take her out. You can spend money <laughs> on her, that's it. And uh, don't dodge. Don't touch. So another thing, he does have another car. He has a Fiat 500 uh Abarth edition, I believe it is. Abarth, yeah. Abarth. Yeah. How you pronounce it? Abarth. Abarth. That's Italian? Or Abarth, it? Italian. Ah, okay. Italian. It is a Abarth. Uh, a super turbo? A turbo, baby. A turbo. Dual spool. What do you think about it? I that's your that. favorite car. That's, that's, like, that's like driving a go-kart, guys. It's it's nothing else but an overgrown go-kart. I love that car. Oh, forget it. And the sound? Uh, I gotta get The I gotta turbo spools up and the blow valve goes on it. <laughs> Ima uh, now imagine that car was rear wheel drive or now, all wheel drive. That probably would have been the best car available on the market I, if it was a rear wheel drive. All wheel, it's like, okay, you know, but rear wheel, is, there's no such thing as a better car than a rear wheel drive car. Listen, if you want, if you have money, you buy a Porsche. Yep. But the middle class man, I think the Fiat 500 oh, Abra rear wheel drive would have been phenomenal. Absolutely. I think it would have been one of the best small cars just to have fun with. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, in my lifetime, the best car I ever owned since nah, I lived don't in say it. Don't say it. I no. I lived in Manhattan. I no. still do live in Manhattan. It's a small car. Oh. Yeah, it's listen for parking and all of that stuff, and even in snow, it's probably one of the better cars out there. But uh, <laughs> I can't. Fiat was the funnest car I, I, I rode, and uh, oh wow, let me get you guys. Oh, wow, let me check out this shot. Holy God. Look at that. So I'll give you guys some beautiful mountain roads, upstate New York. This is nice. Alright. We don't wanna we don't wanna end up in the mountain. So hey, pull over here. Right here. So yeah, Fiat is the one of the funnest cars I But I Smart was the best car you best owned. car. My Pontiac's probably the one of the cars that that wants to kill me every time I ride it. It's um, it's like a casket on wheels, man. It's just wants to spin out. Oh yeah, you don't have a park. Yo, yeah. By the way, <laughs> this car does not have a park mode, man. Correct. What was BMW thinking? That it doesn't have park. You have to turn off the car, either put on neutral, e-brake. It's mind-boggling. You know what? I don't understand. I mean. 
I, it's not bad. I, I guess they want you to turn off the car so you don't idle or waste gas or whatever the case is. I think I made a good choice on this one. Absolutely. So what we're going to be doing is upcoming videos. We are going to be installing an exhaust system. We're going to do the front lip. Uh, we're going to do the side skirts. Rear spoiler. Rear spoiler. Uh, majority of that stuff is going to be installed in the house by yours truly, Hosko. Hosko, <laughs> good. By the way, he's, he's very handy. If you check out his page, he 3D prints everything. Oh, he basically... This is going to be on my page. <laughs> well, it's going to be on... Oh, yeah. Put it on your page. That's fine. <laughs> okay, All right, we'll, we'll probably think of... We'll renegotiate that part. Yes, we'll... we'll, we'll uh, copyrights... Uh, Correct. The right. other thing is, he's very, very good with 3D printed. Oh, so I love 3D printing. What he did was, he bought a 3D printer, printed a 3D printer, and returned the other 3D printer. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not do that Don't yet. Don't tell nobody. Yeah, he's thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll be back. Uh, we'll give you a couple of shots later, but otherwise, love the car. Summary on it. Parking sucks. Yeah, that there's no such bond. thing as parking. Yeah, yeah that... Alright guys, let me take you around the car and some of the features we spoke about before. The car does not have a lot of options. As we mentioned, we are not rich. But I did get the blackout grill. I specifically asked them not to drill the front bumper. Who would want to ruin this front? Look at this beauty. It would be such an insult to actually put a license plate in this car. Do you agree? Absolutely, man. Kidding so, me? Making our way back. I got the, I think these are the 19 inch black rims. Um, the calipers, I don't know how I feel about the blue color. I think. Blue is nice. I think, uh, what would you go for? Lime and. Uh... Yeah, I, thought, I think I wanted the lime. I'm going to have them paint the lime green, similar to the Air Max 95s. This I want to black out the chrome side marker. Yeah, chrome is uh, no go on any fucking car. And also, look Bleep. at this. Let me show you another thing. Why can these be, be black? Yeah, what's up so with those stupid. balance weights, man? I, unbelievable. I can't fucking believe they actually... Bleep! <laughs> they, uh, they did that. Next one is... I got the carbon fiber diffuser. Which I think makes a huge difference in the way the car looks. Sorry for the car being dirty. We were Just driving so you can see day. that. <laughs> Carbon fiber weave. Uh, one option I want to talk to you guys about is if you do get a sunroof, you don't get the carbon fiber roof. All the cars I've had had a sunroof, but honestly, I never use it. So I went with the regular stock option. Look so how beautiful is. that is. Wow. Oh, let me show you what carbon structure looks like. This is not leather. Of the seats that are standard it's it's a, not an option i mean if you decide to do leather but this is a standard option a regular carbon structure has the leather on the side um much more comfortable you don't slip full grip it's amazing same thing in the back seat it's actually pretty roomy in the back yeah. very surprising oh the only thing i wish they did do leather was this i feel like this is a little bit uh, i don't know they should have done leather here instead okay. of this. I see. But otherwise, it's a simple build, nothing crazy. We're gonna be putting an exhaust system. Um, like we mentioned before, we're gonna do the back trunk lip. It's gonna be probably a, I wonder about this size, but there's a couple of options. The internet has full of it. Okay. And we're gonna do the front lip as well. Oh, that's right. Front lip for a more aggressive uh, look. Yep. That would have been nice. Oh, and side skirts. Side skirts? I think I definitely would do the side skirts. I did see options to do the black carbon fiber uh, inserts for the side for the mirrors. Mm. I don't like it. I think the white looks good. Yeah. The conclusion of our video that we made yesterday, we're making it today. Yep. Uh, we didn't talk much about the engine. You guys seen all this stuff, but Hasco. This I will do... be a number two video. Number two video. Yep. But tell right. them how much you love this. Yeah. Thing. This is my favorite part of the whole car. Mm, Definitely beautiful. my favorite part of the whole car. This is the big weave. The... Uh, I think it was a it's called a 12k weave. Oh, so yeah, yeah. the one that you mentioned that the roof That's should have. Right. If the roof had the same weave as the um, the sway bar, it would have been amazing. But whatever, you know, you work with what you got. Stay tuned for the part two. 
of a 1200 mile uh, breaking period. Correct. After that, we become hooligans, we get arrested, we make the front page newspaper. Yes. Yeah, boy. Subscribe, stay tuned, and like. Push that little uh, bell button on the top to stay notified, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>